Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning visitor, thank you, thank you very much. And if you are new here and this is your first time watching, allow me to share some things about me and who is my target audience, why am I making these videos and all of that. Now, uh, in order to start, get this going, we need to go back to 2016. Now, what happened in 2016? I worked as a training manager, course developer, teacher, instructor, and a lot of, lot of other things at Maritime Training Center and Open University. And I've been working there from 2006. I cover over 17 subjects, so I teach 17 subjects and most of the courses in entire university. So what that means, I'm busy, busy, busy. I know this sounds unreal, but I'm a single mother. So uh, what does that mean? Uh, if you don't know what that means, uh, it means that the kid has only you and that's it. You can't afford to be sparable at your work because you need income. In order to achieve this, every free moment I got, I used to gain more skills, knowledge and certificates. If we take a glance on my CV, you can see I'm a four-star diver, I'm a licensed officer, so on the ship and all kinds of other things here. Now. Uh, you might think no one is irreplaceable. So let me show you what I mean. Um, let's look at this. Let's say this is me and this is everybody else. And let's say this is a boss asking a question or questions. So who knows how to make interactive PowerPoint? Who knows how to make Excel spreadsheet? Who knows how to make social media banner? Who knows how to make and edit video for seminar? Who can write a book? Who can design cover for the book? Who can edit and format the book? Who can teach people how to survive helicopter crash in water? Yes, that's right. That's me. So one of the courses I teach is how to survive helicopter crash in water. It's called Hewitt, Helicopter Underwater Escape Training. So this is it. This is what I do. So technically, I'm not irreplaceable, but in order to have all that I'm offering, they need to hire all of these people instead of me. <laughs> so... um I worked on e-learning materials for my students and they shared it with the people outside university and they loved it and they begged me to make it into a book. I didn't have time in my schedule to complete the book, but I started writing it and then I got sick for the first time in my life and I had to go to get surgery and also for the first time in my life I was forced to rest and I was free. So that was the time I discovered YouTube and all the other things online. And I also managed to complete my book later on. And I started looking for publisher. Now this is where I want to emphasize something to all people complaining about Amazon KDP system and royalties. Now in order to publish my book, Minimum offer I got was $6,000. $6,000. And this is the price with me not getting any copy, any sample of my book. This is just the price to publish my book. Fortunately, I dig deeper and I discovered the three magical words. And no, it's not KDP. It is P-O-D. Print on demand. There was a local POD company that was helping indie authors to publish their books. Uh, they sent me offer and uh, told me how I could save money. And they said, if I design my own cover, if I format and edit my book, 
if I deliver them print ready PDF cover and PDF interior, the price would be $600. <gasps> And I was like, send me the contract before you change your mind, please. So that is how I signed my contract with my publisher that is still to this day my uh, main publisher. And that is how my first book was published in 2017. And uh, this is my first official published book. Now, you probably looking at this and you have like, Marina, what is this? I have no idea. So let me explain. You know how uh, ships have captains, masters, someone who is in charge, the, the, the most important person on the, on the ship. Now, in order for them to become masters, they need to pass a five day long examination, five days long. And in the morning they have practical exams and in the afternoon they have oral exams. So my book has all they need for all the oral exams for those five days in one place. And I was able to make this book because I have a master's degree in nautical science and I teach these subjects. And uh, after two months, I noticed something interesting. So I work at university all day and I get paid. At the same time, I do nothing because my book is finished, my book is published, and my publisher pays me my profit from sales from the previous month. And then I go back to university and I work all day and I get paid, and then I do nothing and publisher pays me profit from the sales from the book I finished, completed two months ago. And then I started to think, okay, let's, let's see this. How is this called? This was passive income. This was pure passive income. I made a book. It's out there. It's still till this day making me money. It's being sold. And I started calculating. Okay, so let's think practical. This is what I did. So this is how much money I need to live normal life. Like, you know, buy food and, bill, and pay bills. And my logic was that if I make more books, <laughs> okay. So I started writing and every year from 2016, I published one book. Now I knew I can make more books if I have more time, but then, you know, pandemic happened. And then I was completely free to write more books. I published my sixth book and uh, it was my first official book published fully in English. And then I faced an issue. Now, people around the world called me and they wanted to buy my book. But the price of the book is 50 US dollars. So 50, five, zero. And shipping was 70 dollars. So seven, zero. It just, ma just makes no sense. So I started looking for other options to get my books global. And that is how I discovered KDP and Amazon. And I searched for, you know, tutorials. I read the guidelines. I read everything. And I started to look at YouTube videos. But you really don't have people with master's degree explaining others on YouTube how to publish high content books. What you have is like people like Paul Marles, Nuria, the, the home boss and similar. And at that time, so that, well, this was two years ago, there were still uh, small YouTube channels. They are not on the level they are today. So I started watching them and they were talking about publishing lined notebooks. I was like, what? Now that made me think that Amazon is some kind of stationary organization that's Amazon KD system is for stationary books like line books and planners. And I was like, I'm not going to put my book into that system. So I continued to research for my options to get my high content book published. But I also continued to watch about these make $5,000 a month publishing line books, you know, just for entertainment. This is my uh, 
working arrangement, so I've always worked. The first day I started working, this was like 10, 15 years ago, with three monitors, I cannot go back. There's upload. If somebody tells me, Marina, you have to work on one monitor, I would say, no, no, I'm, I'm not. There is no way. I need my three, I need my three monitors and just let me be. So what I do is I basically on my two right monitors is where I do the work and on my uh, corner left monitor, I keep the entertainment. So mostly YouTube or some videos playing or some educational uh, documentary or something. So I was listening uh, to them and um, uh, 2020 came and even long time before 2020, I noticed a drastic drop in my book's sales. Now, this is not normal. My books are not losing value in time. In fact, uh, the need for my books should constantly rise because more and more people are attending these master's exams. And one day, one of my students called me, severely disappointed, and he said he was in the exam room with 20 other guys, and they all had my book, but not the original. They had illegal copies. So he checked, and he sent me the print store names that are selling my books illegally. So they photocopied my books, and they are selling them illegally. I was, I was furious. I was angry. I called my lawyer. He said we can sue them, but it will take like 10, 20 years to get everything resolved. So what I did is I ended up sending them a cardboard note. Now, you probably can read creation, so let me translate. What does it say here? It says, hello, I'm unemployed single mother. Uh, so at this time, this was pandemic, mid-pandemic, so university was closed and I was unemployed. And I'm author of the books you are selling illegally. I'm demanding you stop this and blah, 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 you know, the usual legal stuff. Now, only one owner of all this, I believe you see 15, 15 print stores are selling my books illegally in just one city, one city, 50 of them. And one owner responded and he told me that his business is down due to pandemic and my book is selling great and he is not going to stop and he doesn't care about my problems. If I want money, I can sue him. And at the same time, I was talking with him in the messenger. Paul Marles was on the left monitor talking about publishing line notebooks. And I was like, Let's do this. Let's just forget everything. Let's forget I'm a trained, educated person. Let's forget I'm designer. I'm an illustrator. I'm a web developer. Let's forget all of that. Let's, let's forget my master's degree completely and all of that uh, 15 years of education. Let's just forget that completely and let's just publish lined notebooks. Okay? Let's publish lined notebooks. Oh, so this is the first book I published on KDP. Let's open it up. Let's look inside. Let's see the interior. Wow. Uh, what do we have here? Lines. And what do we have here? Oh, look at this. More lines. More. Now, I added a value. You see, there's a sign of angle on every page because, you know, why not? I just could not. I just could not force myself to just publish a book that will just have lines. So I actually did some twist and I put the value of the sign of the angle in the upper corner. So I was angry. I was disappointed. I was like, my mind was not in a good place. So I started making all kinds of books. So I mean, I was not niching down, no keywords, nothing. It was just me, a designer, artist, illustrator, making books I want to make and the books I want to buy. I joined Facebook groups to see what others are doing with their KDP account. And since I love puzzles, I love puzzles and I love mazes, 
I had this idea of making specific book series around mazes. And I was looking for maze generator, and at the time nothing that suit me was available. But one product was announced. It was a maze generator by Luke Baus, and I bought his amazing software. And in one of my next videos, I'm going to show you how I use that program as a base for my mazes. So uh, his program creates mazes, but that is not it for me. The reason why I like his uh, his program is because it produces SVG files. So if you are a designer, you know those are vector files. So uh, a lot of other uh, maze generators, they give you PNG file. Now PNG file, if you are a KDP author, they're perfect. You can put them in a book, blah, blah, blah. You are ready to go. But I'm not going to just generate billions of mazes and then use them as is. I'm going to do something to them. And in order to do something to them, I need them to be vector files. I need them to have nodes, to have tips I can change and move around. And just recently, I bought another tool by Hans Book Publisher, I believe that's the name. And in one of the next videos, I'm also going to show you why did I also bought that one, what are the benefits, how I'm using it, and why I got it. So that was like a couple of my months of my life. I just focused on mazes. I was enjoying myself making them. Uh, I signed up to Creative Fabrica and design bundles. I had my portfolios all over the place, so and I had my design studio, so they accepted me. And I published my mazes on both ends there, so I started my Creative Fabrica store as well. And, but, so, uh, what I want to say is that I have success in some areas of online businesses, but the KDP, I failed. I failed. I have other areas that I can classify as passive income that are working very well, very good. I see constant improvement, like for example, Creative Fabrica is progressing wonderfully, but I still want to figure out the KDP. And I noticed in these Facebook groups, when average people share, they have no sales, they get these generic responses like quality over quantity, niche down, keywords, social media, the usual. And okay, a couple of occasions, there were a couple of professional illustrators. So professional, professional illustrator joined the group. And he stated that they have no sales and they don't understand why giving the covers are done by them. So that means professionally. And the responses they got were like, oh, your cover may be not good. Oh, and, and when I read this, I was like, oh my, you did not export it in 300 DPI. No. <laughs> I'm not going to disrespect anyone, but when someone not trained in design starts telling a professional illustrator, professional designer about DPI and your cover not being good, uh, they just can grab the fact that we are used to selling up illustrations for $200, $500. It goes up to four digits. So we know design, we know illustrations, we know compositions. And I responded to their comments with my experience and, surprise, surprise, we all shared a common issue. We make great books. Our interiors are good. And I know this because in my case, I offer my interiors and covers in, on Fiverr. And, and this, this is what puzzles me. So... I make a cover and interior for my client and she has sales. And then I make cover and interior for me and I have no sales. So obviously it's not about the cover. It's not about the interior. It's not about my skills of as a designer. So that part is checked because the books I make, they are making sales, but just not to me, not on, on my account. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. So, um, 
Uh, yeah. And we just don't understand. You know, when I say we, I mean people who have, who have certificates in design, who have training in design. So we are, yes, we can go to Canva and use Canva, but we go, we're doing our work in Illustrator. We're sketching things on a paper and then converting it to vector in Illustrator so, or Inkscape or something. This is what we do. And for some of us, this was the first time uh, that we are put in position where we have to push for our illustrations and artwork to be seen, not sold, seen. So this is a whole new ball game. And I mentioned on, in the Facebook group that I want to make videos about this. I want to start over completely from scratch when it comes to KDP. And I want to try to fix my, let's call it, mistakes. And I'm going to uh, log my journey. And I'm going to make sure that uh, I, 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 how to say, I expose everything. So there's nothing, no element that's going to be hidden. So everything's going to be out there. So we're going to see, or I'm going to see for myself, and I'm going to show you because why not, uh, what I'm doing. I'm going to show you my books and we're going to start from, from start to whatever in the future to see what we are doing. So that was my message there. That was my idea. But I said, I don't know, is anybody going to be interested in watching that video? And all of the designers there in the group responded, yes, please. We want to see the videos. We, we want to see you in action. We want to see what kind of covers are you designing. We want to see your workflow. We want to see your process. And I want to show you my process because honestly, I want to hear where am I failing? I, I want to show you my keywords. I want to show you my description. I want to show you my, uh, my process of everything. So, and if it's still not working, I'm thinking in my head. So if it's not working for me and I'm a professional, I'm a designer, let's not call me professional, but let's call me a designer. Let's say I know things. And because my, my degree is not in design, my degree is uh, nautical science. But, um, if I show you what I'm doing and I'm failing, that means that you're not supposed to repeat what I'm doing. You need to do something else. So that's a benefit for you, correct? If I show you what's not working, then you can skip that. Don't waste your time on doing that and do something else. Now, last week, the name of this channel was Croatian Petamings. And that was because I'm from Croatia. And I'm one of the first people in my country to solve this giant Rubik puzzle, Rubik cube puzzle. It took me 16 hours for the first time to solve it. And I love them. I love Rubik puzzles. And this channel was just something random. I did no real pointers or goal sets, no schedule of recording, any of that. I just, and I mean, if you look at my old videos, I mean, look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this. Is this a video of a serious YouTuber? <laughs> okay, but... I did it. I talked with people and they said, do it. Do it, Marina. Uh, make YouTube videos about this because we want to see it. And I'm doing it. I rebranded my channel. I renamed it to the name of my design studio. I created Facebook group where at the moment I'm just talking between myself and my page. <laughs> and this group is going to be mostly for designers artists and illustrators that are struggling with KDP and people who like to work with plan, with strategy, with concept, with structure. If that sounds like you, something that you are interested, you can join me on Facebook, read the rules and join the group. And in the group, you're not going to be suggested to make cover in 300 dp and CMYK as these things are like new to you. Like, oh, you cannot use uh, RGB in print. 
just for info, I make all my pages, all my covers that I upload to KDP in 600 dp because I can. I like the clarity of the print better and I have tools and I can compress the images so the file size is small with keeping the resolution. Now, I collected all my research data all the links, all the tools, all the hidden gems on the internet uh, in Excel. And I'm going to share that Excel in this Facebook group. And I'm going to walk you through it, through the plan of KDP. The purpose is going to be to save time. So no more random thinking what book to create, where to start, what to do. Uh, I will follow myself and I will give you a plan for the first month of the KDP. So now even if you already started the KDP, you can still have this fresh first month of the KDP following my process. And what uh, my idea is, we're going to do together this first month of KDP. And then we will review our results because sooner you realize KDP is not working out for you, you can switch to something else that will work like Creative Fabrica, Creative Market, Design Bundles, Affiliate Marketing, Fiverr, Etsy, Merch, Redbubble, Zazzle, and so on. You have so much options. And when people tell you uh, the market is oversaturated, that doesn't exist. That doesn't exist if the saturation is a thing that every person being born right now, what are they going to do? If the market is oversaturated, what are the, these kids are going to do? What, what jobs are they going to do in 20 years? What if someone after 20 years wants to be an author? And you're going to say, it's, he can't. He can't because uh, KDP is oversaturated. It's been 20 years. Everybody is, uh, there's, a, there's like a top how many people can publish on KDP and now this is where the, the top stops and no, it's finished. You, John, no, it's finished with you. John, you cannot publish any more books. It's done deal. You are finished. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. There is no way something like Amazon, like books, publishing books can be oversaturated. And the problem here is this illusion of $1,000, $5,000 a month, $100 a day. This book is making 30 billion, trillion, zillion dollars a day. And you can make that. Yes. Yes, that is completely true. You can make that book. But in order for that book to bring you that kind of income, there is so, there are so many steps behind besides just book, social media, marketing, promotion, uh, all of these things to get your books sold. There are so many tools, softwares, uh, books, products, cars that are beyond perfect, but they're not selling because they are not, uh, how to say, they're not um, trending. They're not trending and they're not, what's the word? Oh my God, my, my mind is completely blocked now. What's the word? They, don't, they, they didn't went viral. That's the, that's the word I'm looking for. They didn't went viral. If something went, went viral, then, then, uh, then that's the key. And the entire concept of my new rebranding is going to be on the quote I made and I trademark it. It's in the process. There is... No passive income without active effort. There is just no passive income without active effort. If you want passive income, you have to work. You need to have skills. You need to have programs and softwares. You need to have a computer and smartphone. You need to know the basics of design and photography, and typography. You need to know how to write, and you need to know how to read. You need to know how to do research. You need to read guidelines. 95% of questions being asked in these KDP Facebook groups is answered in KDP help section. What is bleed? 
What is the minimum page count? What are the dimensions of interior? What are the dimensions of cover? How are my royalties calculated? How do I put my books in more categories? All of this and so much more, all of it is here, right here. So, as a teacher, I'm giving you a homework. If you haven't already, go to KDP help section. You don't need to have an account to uh, get to this page. Take a notebook with you and read everything here and take notes. And if you already did that, well, continue to do whatever you are doing now and wait for my next video. You know, if you want to subscribe, if you uh, want to hear about my big project. And I uh, shared my big project in Lubau's group. And the project is, for the past three days, I made 17 books. I made books in every dimension, every trim size, every paper type, every ink type, and every, um, how to say, paperback and hardcover. So everything that you can order and get from Amazon when it comes to KDP book publishing, I created all of these books and I have just a couple of them waiting to go live. And once they go live, I'm going to buy them, I'm going to get them, and I'm going to show you everything. I'm going to show you the quality of the cream paper, white paper, I'm going to use pen, I'm going to use markers on them. If you want me to test something on them, I'm going to have book here with me, and you can ask in the comments below, Marina, can you test this, can you test that? And I'm going, just going to turn my camera on, and I'm going to do the test, so you can have uh, the information, what KDP can bring to you, what can offer you when it comes to publishing of your book. What is the quality of the paper? What is the quality of the cover? What is the quality of standard and premium color? Is the cost of the premium color actually uh, worth it? So all of that, that's my big agenda. I also created the biggest book, the biggest book Amazon can produce. That is 8 by 10 inches, 828 pages book. And the cover looks gorgeous and I just cannot wait to get it. I mean, I, I just, just the cover, I'm, I want to buy it. And this is my problem from the beginning. I, I Once again, I made a book that I want to buy. So I basically I made 17 books that I want to buy and I'm going to get them and I'm going to use them as a test books to show you the quality of the interior and cover. Now, let me know down in below in the comments what you think about my plan, what you think about my KDP journey. And uh, if you are a designer, come and join me in the Facebook group. Like, subscribe, the usual. Okay, until next video, I'll see you in the comments.